Hello there and welcome to another Thrawn's Revenge 3.2 feature preview where today we're going to be talking about the next new government mechanic coming to Thrawn's Revenge. So these are the kinds of mechanics like the New Republic and Republic's command staff in Fall of the Republic and Thrawn's Revenge, or the New Republic's elections, the CIS's sub-faction integration and that kind of thing. They're essentially mechanics that are tried to be, or that we try to build around who the faction is that'll influence how you approach the galactic map and tactical battles as well. So for today's video, we're going to be talking about the corporate sector authorities government mechanics or their first government mechanic. There are a few factions we're going to be working on for this release. There will be a preview of the imperial government mechanics coming up soon, but we are talking about the CSA ship market. So the CSA is a faction that is kind of eclectic in how it's put together in lore. At the end of the Clone Wars, they bought up a lot of CIS assets. Uh, they bought up some older hardware like Invincible Dreadnoughts and Victory Class Star Destroyers as well from the Republic side. And so their roster, because it's such older stuff or stuff that corporations would be selling directly, would tend to be a bit more eclectic and quantity over quality. But they did or they would be the kind of faction that is kind of buying up these ships as they become available from whatever sources. So the ship market is meant to represent that. Right now it just works directly off of their shipyards, but in the future, in the full development of this, there will be a unique structure that you build uh, in place of the shipyard. So you can either have a ship market or a shipyard on your planet, and if you have the regular shipyard, you can build the regular CI CSA roster units at the planet, or if you have the ship market, you'll be able to build ships from the ship market there. So if you look at your government tab here, you'll see a list of ships that are currently available on the ship market. And these are ones that I have just kind of put in to demonstrate what it's going to be. Uh, there will be a very wide variety of different types of ships available here, from older Clone Wars tech to a lot of the ships that are just available to other factions uh, to some of the influence units and pretty much everything in between each week there is a chance for any given ship to be added to the ship market or a copy of it so you can see here we have an mc80 liberty a hapen battle dragon an overcruiser a beta cruiser and a bulwark mark ii which is not going to be part of their core roster anymore it's going to be available through the ship market and you have one of each of these available so if we go here, or rather if we go to a ship or a planet that has a shipyard on it, let's build the MC-80, the Battle Dragon. And we just had the week roll over. You'll see a message that stuff has been added to the ship market. Right now it only displays one. But you can go here and you can see we built an MC-80 and a Haven Battle Dragon. Uh, so there's only one available, but there's two of the other ones. And again, this is going to be a random chance per week for the units to be added. You're not going to be guaranteed these five ships per week. Some weeks you might get nothing, some you may get a couple ships, but for example, the MC-80, there is a 1 in 20 chance or a 5% chance of a Liberty being added. And the Battle Dragon, uh, Nova, and Beta is a little bit lower because they would be a much more rare kind of thing. Whereas some of the older Clone War ships or ships that aren't used by other factions would be more common. There's even a chance a 1 in 1,000 chance for a Mandator class to become available on the ship market, which on average, if you assume about 333 weeks per Empire's End playthrough, that'll mean that it's not something you're guaranteed to get in any given playthrough, but when these kinds of ships come up, it allows you to build fleets around very different styles than the core CSA roster allows. So you can get a live view of what's available on the ship market. Uh, we will do a list eventually of all the ship types and their chances that'll be possible to get on the ship market so that people can always see what that'll be uh, because again you're not going to be guaranteed the entire haven roster or whatever at once like you are here this was just for demonstration purposes but it should really help uh give this faction some extra options to play outside of their wheelhouse and say you get a cadal bay that uh, allows you to set up a tanky core to a fleet and then build recusants around it. Or if you get something like the Battle Dragons, which is a really good frigate that you could support with a uh, with a fleet tender and 
you can build your fleets around very different things. You're not going to be able to reliably build multiple unit or multiple types of unit, rather, or multiple instances, rather, of a type of unit. But it's the kind of thing that when it comes up, it can add a lot of cool opportunities, and it's just kind of interesting to see what you're going to get in the course of a playthrough, making each playthrough look kind of different, especially when something like the Mandator comes up. There will be some extra elements to this, like you'll be able to eventually invest in stock in a company. So if you want to see more ships coming up from KDY, if you have a branch representative for that, that'd potentially increase the uh, the chance of having KDY products show up by either a multiplier or a flat increase value. We haven't decided what to do there yet. But that is the basics of how the CSA ship market is going to work. We'll hopefully have a playthrough coming up when it's all fully set up that'll be able to show off more of what the feature uh, looks like and works as. But we're going to also have a video coming out pretty soon, going over some of the top level changes or the broad view of what we're aiming to do with 3.2 and 1.2. So keep an eye out for that, as well as the Imperial Legitimacy video, which is their government mechanic. Hope you've enjoyed. Hope you're looking forward to 3.2. Hope to see you next time. Bye, everyone.